Okay. Well, thank everyone for joining us here for the championship game press conference, the 2024 CUSA Basketball Championships. We're joined by a uh, drenched Middle Tennessee head coach, Rick Insell, with his uh, senior guard, Savannah Wheeler, sophomore guard, Tamia Scott. We'll ask the attending, we'll make sure the attending media here in Huntsville has the ability to ask questions first. Then we'll move to our Zoom audience, to the folks in the Zoom meeting room. If you'd like to go ahead and start typing your questions in the queue, in the interest of time, that would be great. If you will, please state your name and affiliation prior to asking your question. Thanks for your attendance. Thanks for your patience. We'll begin with opening statement from Coach before opening up to the floor for questions. Just really proud of our, our basketball program right now. Um, our fans are just, you know, when you look at a program, you just don't look at the players. You look at your leadership. You look at your fan base. You look at your players. You look at your support help. You look at your assistant coaches. And I've said this over and over. I've got the best group of coaches in the nation. Our fan base is unbelievable, and our, our players never let me down all year long. We got beat four games, but those four games we got beat, we can go back on at least two of them, and we were responsible for that. But uh, very proud of our very proud of our program. Program, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, questions, guys. Go ahead. So, Savannah, two years here, two years ago, like trying to get first. So, just talk about your emotions and just you know everything you're feeling right now. Is it stuck in you? I mean. That was just an incredible feeling. I mean, this is why I came here for. Uh, came here to to win, and you know, two years in a row, my two years here. I mean, it's just it's it's been real special. And a lot of teams, a lot of coaches in the conference, they don't they don't know what we go through outside of everything. You know, we I mean, we go at it hard in practice. Our practice players, I mean, they push us every single day. Our coaches push us every single day. I mean. I mean, we're not lucky. I mean, we, we spent hours and hours just going at each other and competing, not only get, competing against other teams, but competing against ourselves. Is this why you came here? Oh, most definitely. I mean, this is why I came here. I mean, just, it's just crazy to think, I mean, how, I mean, I'm just lost for words right now. So, I mean, that's, that's really your answer. They were probably erected a statue over at Marshall. It took somebody really gritty and gutty because she'd already scored over a thousand points there to make a decision to leave that program and come to Middle Tennessee inside our conference. And uh, I think what she saw playing Middle Tennessee, she saw this is where she needed to be. And you know, Marshall's a great place. They, she did a great job there, but they wasn't going to accomplish what she wanted. And she's not through yet. She's she's uh, she's got a future. She she's going to be drafted this year. Yeah, you know, last year you were, you know, had a very small role on the team, but you were still part of the championship team. This year you you've grown into the role, all conference player, and getting a chance to do what you did on the floor tonight. How are the emotions different, you know, a year later with, with, with what this championship's been? Uh, this year it was more it was more so just kind of a relief to know that I was a part of something a lot bigger. Last year I watched all all the starting five, you know, do their thing. And I knew my time was going to come, but this year it just it feels so much more different, and I'm so much more appreciative of it um, because I worked so so hard for it um, on the court, and I, yeah. I mean, she's not done yet. I mean, she's I mean she's got two more years too. So I mean, think about how she is right now. I mean, can't imagine what she's going to be for next year and the year after that. We wouldn't want a ball game without Tamia taking over out there. I kind of question the. The offensive set when they first went to it, I had something else in my mind, but Matt wanted to go to to, to me on the wing, and our special, and uh, every possession she had in special, we either scored or got fouled and went to the free throw line. What a horse! I mean, she's not a she's not a 15 and two and under. She's a stake horse right here sitting over there. The, what she ate, you know, they backed up on their heels and what she do, bury the three. They came up and pressured her. What she do? She took them to the basket and laid it up. I mean, she's just uh, she's got so much ahead of her. Yeah, she's going to be drafted too. I mean, just crediting our fan base. I mean, they they've played not they didn't play a part just this whole game but this whole season they played a huge part of our success and credit to them I mean they definitely played a part in this game and yeah I mean just 
just credit to them. They definitely gave us a lot of momentum going into this game, really this whole year, this whole season. That was a very good basketball team we beat today. You know, they we beat it. This was a, you know, this is kind of something the girls, a lot of people, even some of our people, have said, well, you know, it's tough to beat somebody three times. Right off the bat, I told them, forget about that. I've had to beat people five times in one year. Don't worry about it. You know, we beat them twice. We'll beat them again. And uh, we're not through. We're not through. We're this this bunch right here. They're not they're not afraid to play anybody. I don't care who it is. South Carolina it don't make any difference. They may be taller. They may have more lateral quickness, but you watch this little group, you you can't measure their hearts. You hear that all the time, but in this bunch, you can't do it. Well, I had somebody in this room, and I will not say who it was, that gave me two Cuban cigars. <laughs> you can bet one of them is going to be smoked when I get home tonight. And if somebody wants to join me, I'll have, they'll be smoking the other. And I doubt if I got some in there, I'll give them. I'll keep the Cubans for me. Of course, he's kind of right behind you there, Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> I, the one thing, I won't smoke them on campus. I promise you that. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it, she went three for three from the three-point line at 6'6". Six, six. So, I mean, after that third <laughs> one, after that third one she hit, I mean, <laughs> just <laughs> run to that base, <laughs> yeah. But just unbelievable. I mean, it's just, I mean, she can shoot that, so. Usually she's getting chewed out for giving her the ball out there to shoot the three, to be honest with you. <laughs> and then really that, um, those three threes and that, that backdoor play that she had, I mean, she definitely read it. She had a three-point play on that. Mm-hmm, three-point play on that. So just really being in sync is just a big part of our game. And, uh, yeah. Coach, you brought Julia in at a very crucial time of the game. Y'all went on a 20 to 4 Talk about how she played. Well, we had a 10-point lead, and, you know, we, we just felt like we didn't need to take a chance because we needed Courtney. And Courtney, you know, she only got two points tonight, but it's her leadership that's out there on the floor. And, her ability to pick up plays and cut lanes and things like that, that's as important as scoring. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking too foul. We didn't need her to get a cheap one. And they, they're pretty heady. They got a pretty heady team, so they were going to come right at her instead of running their plays. They're going to run something and go right at Courtney. So we got her out. And, you know, we've got confidence in you and, and uh, Nasia playing together. Matter of fact, we, we've talked about it down here this week that you may very well see that next year a lot. Maybe – Maybe all the time, you know. But we've got some other young ladies over there, too, that just like Tamia stepped up. Everybody kind of got hacked off last year when we put on the report for freshman of the year. She didn't get much time, but she's probably the best freshman in the conference. She didn't make anything. But I, I, right now you might want to ask the coaches who the best sophomore in the conference is, Tamia Scott, and maybe one of the top five players in the conference. So – you know, she paid her dues, like she said, and she's ready to be the leader of this program and the face of this program, along with Nasia. You got, and you got Jalen. So, you know, we got, I guess, well, we'll be destined to win it again. <laughs> yeah. Any plans yet for Selection Sunday tomorrow? Oh, yeah, we're going to the boulevard. boulevard. Yeah, I don't think we'll get everybody in there, but that's where we'll be headed, just like we did last year. And, uh, we, you know, we, he's been pretty nice to us. He's done a good job all year with our football shows and our two basketball shows. So, you know, but we'll get as many in there as we can. I think it's at 7 o'clock. I'm a correct. I saw Chris in there. 7 o'clock. So I'm sure, you know, you need to get there early and get something to eat, and then all the kids will be there. Any further questions in the room? I'd like to make a statement to Huntsville. They did a tremendous job running this tournament. You could have turned the heat on a little more. But, uh, you know, we, we got three wins down here. Really, we got four wins down here, counting the Tennessee win. All of them have been big, big. If you wanted to see good women's basketball this past week, you saw some really good women's basketball. No questions from our Zoom audience? Thank you all very no? much. Okay, thank you all. Thank you all. Savannah, Tamia, thank you all. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now I gotta find a clean shirt somewhere. <laughs>